Hey, what's going on, everybody? I'm Whiskid, but you can just call me Alec. Welcome to another episode of Whiskid's Pokemon Leaf Green Nuzlocke Challenge. Right, so, in this episode, we're gonna be going up against Misty of the Cerulean Gym. I'm just gonna switch around a little bit. I'm going to not send out Edgar first. Who should I send out first? Maybe I should send out Edgar because. I just, I don't know, because, I don't know, anyway. Hi, you're a new face. One of those trainers who who have a policy about Pokemon in our United Kitchens. What is your approach when you catch and train Pokemon? My policy is an all-out offensive with water-type Pokemon. Well, I like this place. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Alright, anyway. Never mind. Right. Right, so she's wearing a sports bra. Whatever. She's gonna send out a level 18 star name. I'm just gonna send out Edgar, and uh, I'm gonna use Sleeper. He's just gonna use Harden. It's a... Yes! Sleep Powder hit. Alright, so... Edgar's gonna use Vine Whip, and you're fast asleep like a little star. I don't know. Yeah, super effective. Yeah! Yeah, that's right. You better stay asleep. And I'm just gonna whip you while you're staying asleep. Haha. <laughs> and Edgar grew to level 17. That's pretty awesome. And he's trying to learn poison powder. I think I will get rid of something. I'll get rid of... Should I get rid of rapper growth? It's just that I don't... Ed... It's just that... I would... Th you would think Vine Whip is a physical attack. But is it a special attack in this game? Because it's... The special and physical types are really weird in this game. Nah, I don't know. Um, I'll just get rid of the growth. Whatever. It's... It's my... It's my moveset. Whatever. I'm just gonna send out a Starmie. Right. I'm going to send out Frank because... This Starmie... This part is, is not only water, but it's also psychic type. So I'm just gonna use bite a couple times. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Right, bite one more time. Oh, what? Ugh. What the hell? This little stupid sign. I'm going to heal up. I seriously, I seriously bet you that Swift is gonna get like a crit or something. Which is going to water pools probably trying to confuse me, but it didn't work because Frank used by and Frank gained a whole ton of experience. Jeez, Frank, you're like overwhelmed as heck. And I defeated leader. I didn't. Edgar, Frank, all my Pokemon, we won. We won. We defeated Misty. Wow, you're too much. What was I saying in the last episode? You're too much, you're too strong, you're too big. Exactly. You're too much. Alright. You can have the Cascade badge to show you beat me. I got a lot of this. Got a lot of money. Wait a second. Hey. She didn't even... What? I... Th was it in the Brock? fight, he gave you the boulder badge, and you have, like, that really cool sound, that really cool music. She didn't give me it during the battle, like, at the end. And there wasn't cool music. What the hell? What is this bull? Give me my freaking... This bitch just keeps talking about water bulls. Well, anyway. I do have the Cascade badge. So, that's pretty awesome. Alright, so, let's just keep on going. Keep progressing with the storyline. Because I just defeated Misty like a freaking awesome man. Alright, so, we're back in true reason. I'm gonna put Toby back up front because I want Toby to gain some more levels. So, the next place that we have to go to is right here because the cop, the cop, moved aside. That's right, man. Moved aside. 
Uh, I'm there. Oh my god! The heck happened here? What's up, dude? Those miserable rockets. Look what they've done to my house. They stole a TM for teaching a poem on how to dig holes. I was going to use it on a main, on a main key or sand shoe. That cost me a bundle of did. Oh, man. Team Rocket must be trying to dig their way into no good. I see what you did there. <laughs> oh, my God. So they put a frame over the hole in their house. Seems legit. So Rocket bro. Hey, stay out. It's not your yard. Huh? Me? I'm an innocent bystander. Don't you believe me? No. Because you're wearing black clothes. That's not cool, dude. He's gonna send out a watch shot. Well, I'm just gonna send out my rat. What's he gonna do about it? Nothing? Off it. I'm gonna go not out to Alaska. Alaska can't do anything. I'll send out my own. Yeah, my own. Whatever. He's gonna use fear attack. You're freaking dead. You, you're, you're good dead, watch out. You're good as dead. No, man, you are stupid. That's right. That's right. Keep. Keep. Just. I'm, I'm just dealing damage for days. Your low kick doesn't do anything. And, of course, my little misses. And guess what? You did. Yeah. Toby gained a little bit of experience, finally gained a little bit of experience. And he's about to send out a drowsy. Well then I'll just send out Toby. And I would use Alaska, however, Alaska's part poison, and I bet you that this drowsy knows the psychic move because it is psychic type. So I'll just I guess I'll go out to Frank. Even though Frank is really overleveled, I really wish my dudes would have a lot of higher levels, but less now. Alright, so it does have confusion. I think I didn't bring an Alaska or else she'd probably be... she probably would have died. Stop, I give up, I'll leave quick, quietly. Okay, I'll return the team I stole. Thank you, I'll take that. I better get moving. Bye! See? What a gentleman. He says bye. Alright, so the next place we have to go to is down here. And also, guess what guys? New route! New! Trance for Pokemon. And we just find a Meowth. Right, um... Let's use Hyperfang. Let's use Toby's Hyperfang. send out another Pokemon so nothing happens to Toby. Just in case if this uh this uh Pokeball doesn't catch it on the first try. Right, Pokeball. Let go! Two, three, and Kachu. Alright. So I just caught me off. It's a scratch Pokemon. It tours round objects and wanders the streets on a nightly basis to look for a dropped, for dropped loose change. Alright, so, um, let's see here. What could I name a Meowth? Probably gonna have to cut this out. Crap. Alright. This may sound as a little bit of a weird name. But, I also can't come up with anything. This is going to be pronounced. Her name is Ravet. So everybody say hello to Ravet the Meowth. That's one of the weirder names I've come up with. Oh. <laughs> she was actually placed in the death box. Oops. I'll uh I'll uh go change that real quick. Because right here is a daycare sign. However, you can only put one Pokemon on it. I'll just really quick going to my PC over here that this old man kindly has. Right. Bill's PC. Did not mean to do that. Move for my Ooh look! Ravet has a nugget. That's cool. Can you take items in the Yeah you can. 
I will move. I will bag it. Thank you, Ravet. Right. So. That's pretty awesome. I'm not going to give any of the... And this guy in my Pokemon because I just don't feel like it. And now we have to go into this thing. The underground path. Serene City to Vermilion City. I did not mean to click that one. Freaking signs. What's up, little girl? Hi, do you have a need around female? I'm gonna change from a need around male. Oh wait, I don't have a need around female. So uh That's too bad, yeah, that's too bad. I really want a right need around. However, I would have liked it if I just had an E-Ran female, so... I believe you can actually find a lot of hidden items in this place, but I, it would just take forever, because... Yeah, I, I, don't, I don't believe this lady says anything. Right, so we're on Route 6. That's pretty awesome. And... New Pokemon that I can find in this grass. And it is uh, another Meow. Alright, two more tries, I guess. I'm gonna switch out Toby Toby's hurt a little bit. I'll put Milo in front. And that be your summary. Milo. Jeez. Right. Come on. Two more tries. Another freaking meow. One more try, guys. And ooh, a Pidgey. That's cool. Also, no, last Flyer against the flyer. What should I name it? I'm gonna use a potion on Alaska because she's hurt a little bit. Start throwing a couple of poke balls at it. And alright. Pigeon was caught. The common sight in forests and woods, it flaps its wings at ground level to kick up lining sand. And it's also the tiny. Give a nickname to the Pidgey? Yes, I would love to nickname a Pidgey. Okay, I just came up with a nickname right off the right off the bat. I just I just saw the eye and I was like, hmm. everybody, meet Ichabar. I think that's how you spell it. From I don't I honestly don't know how to spell it from that one book, the uh, Legend of Sleeping Hollow, Sleepy Hollow. Whatever. I think that's how you spell it, but. Anyway, so we caught two new Pokemon on this ra on in this episode. There's a berry up here. I'll get it real quick. It's a citrus berry. That's pretty cool. So we caught two new Pokemon in this in this uh, episode. We caught Ravet, the Meowth, and Ichabar, the Pidgey. So I think that's enough for this episode. Please subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next episode. Goodbye.